What is the total population of the original nation here in the wilderness of North America and all over the planet Earth? The population of the original nation here in the wilderness of North America is 17 million, plus the 2 million Indians making it a total of 19 million. All over the planet Earth, it's 4 billion, 400 million. No one understand these numbers are not the same. These lessons were written in the 30s. This was the numbers we had in the 30s. But the reason why these numbers are still significant in this and these lessons and teachings and these numbers are still significant to this day is to let us know what type of numbers we was dealing with when we was trying to get this popping. It's to let us know how much of the underdog we really were when these teachings begin to spread amongst black people. So basically, if we analyze those numbers, that 17 million to 2 million Indians, of course, we're speaking about the Native Americans. You heard? That went through their own holocaust with the white man. Us still learning, us still understanding that it was only 17 million black people in the United States of America at the time. Now it's only like 42 million black people in the United States of America. And the population of America is 328 million people. So basically black people are still only like 14% of the United States population. And these numbers are very significant and this degree and this degree is very significant for the times. Why? Because people who do not know, some people don't know, some people just coons and some people just brainwashed. You heard? We, got it. we have to understand what type of odds we were up against. It was only 17 million of us in the whole country. You heard? So we was the super underdog and all the odds was against us. And we were still able to spread these teachings and create a nation with millions and millions of followers. But in these days and time, like I said, some dudes is brainwashed, some dudes is cool, some people just don't know or don't want to know. But in the light of the George Floyd... Uh, incident and all of the uh, Breonna Taylor, uh, Laquan McDonald, and all of the black people, unarmed black people that were murdered by police. I know a lot of people that say, yo, a dude actually told me one time, he said, yo, if you check statistics, more white people get killed by cops than black people. This is why this understanding degree, this third degree in the one to 10 is so significant. I had a dude tell me, yo, but more white people get killed than black, more white people are, more white people get killed than black people in this country every year. Check the statistics. More white people are in jail than black people. Check the statistics. But what they don't understand is the laws of mathematics, my bro. And with the laws of mathematics, we got to deal with percentages. We can't just deal with numbers. We can't just deal with the regular numbers. We got to deal with the percentage. Like I said, black people are only 14% of the United States population. Now, now let's see what percent are we of police killings. Let's see what percent we are of incarceration. Let's see how many of us is incarcerated compared to the numbers that are greatly higher than the black numbers and population in this country. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't just say, oh, more more white people get killed by police. And yeah, of course more white people get killed. But compared to the but compared, but when you compare them in percentages, you will realize that black people are killed by police at a way faster and greater rate than white people are. We must deal with percentages. You understand? So this is why this degree is so significant because. It deals with the science of numbers and population. It deals with the science of minorities. You understand what I'm saying? It deals with the science of how minorities are treated because of their numbers. When you are a small number in a country, you don't really hold too much political voice. And when you don't hold too much political voice or power, you're subject to the bottom of the barrel of the country. In order for a capitalistic country to survive, it got to have its foot on somebody's neck. In order for a small population of the people to be filthy rich, it got to be a great population of the people that's filthy poor. You understand what I'm saying? Dirt poor. So this is how capitalism works. And whoever has the lowest numbers ends up on the lowest, on the lowest end of the totem pole and are most likely mistreated, oppressed, depressed, 
You understand what I'm saying? And every other pressed. But um, this is why this degree is highly significant still to this day, because even though the numbers may have changed, the percentages haven't changed much. You understand? So this country really doesn't care about how black people feel the way we feel they should. So the way we feel in our little 15, 14, 15% population of the country, they don't really care because we're not no major numbers like that because this is not really our country. Even though black people were here first, even before the Native Americans, you understand what I'm saying? And if you don't believe that, go Google and research um, the Alabama mud people. You understand what I'm saying? And the black people, the native black people, the black Native Americans that were on American soil even before the Native Americans that some call Indians. You heard? Black, black Native Americans was in America even before them, whose bloodline could be traced back to the Moors. And this is why the Moors and the Moorish Science Temple, this is why they are able to get, why they are able to receive immunity from certain prosecutions and things of that nature because they could prove that their bloodline and their people, black people, was here way before they were here. You understand what I'm saying? Way before the white man was here. So they really don't have any uh, jurisdiction over them. And that really goes with most black people. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so, like I said, this degree is still very significant to this day because we have to understand the numbers and the percentages of our people and understand what type of uh, effect that has on the political science aspect of our entire lives. You understand what I'm saying? Because political science tells it all. And, and, and the science behind human beings is we think we are sophisticated beings, but really we behave like, I mean, electrons, protons, and neutrons. We behave like the elements of the universe. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of us is enslaved and we don't even know it because we behave like elements of the universe. So for those who say, oh, well, it's a lot of white people in jail too. It's a lot of white people that get killed by cops too. You're right. But when you compare percentages, black people greatly outnumber the amount of white people that are killed by police. So at the rate that we're at the rate that we're killed by police and mass incarcerated, if we had those white numbers, if we was the if we was the majority of population in this country, guess what? About 75% of the whole country would be in jail and be getting killed by police if you if you compare these percentages. So like we was talking about George Jackson on the live the other day. George Jackson said it best. He's like, yo, did I create, did I kidnap and enslave my own people? But then people say, oh, you gotta stop blaming the white man. You gotta blame yourself. Listen, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was making the world think he didn't exist. We can't blame our oppression. We can't blame our oppression on ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? Did we kidnap ourselves? Did we enslave ourselves and force ourselves into submission and force ourselves into a, a different language and a different religion you understand what i'm saying did we teach ourselves that we ain't shit that we was one third of a human being or whatever they were saying we was you understand what i'm saying did we do all of that to ourselves of course not did we create an economic system that we can't that we can't compete in that we ourselves can't even compete in did we do that to ourselves did we create a school system, an educational system that stole the teachings of ancient Africa and ancient Egypt and ancient Ethiopia, then spoon feeds it back the United States population, teaspoons of it for 20, 30,000, 50, 60,000 a year tuition. Did we do that to ourselves? Of course not, bro. So we can never blame our oppression and our slavery on ourselves. You feel me? The numbers, the numbers speak differently. You heard? So when you understand the numbers of population, you begin to understand how political science works and understand how we end up where we end up in jail, dead, on drugs. All of that shit is not a coincidence, bro. It's all political science. It's all dealing with the numbers. You understand what I'm saying? We 15% of the population, so they don't give a fuck about how we feel or what we think. 
We a small fish in a big pond. You understand what I'm saying? This is why we got to stick together, police ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? And take care of ourselves and, and, and have our own interests in mind instead of depending on um, our oppressors. When I say oppressors, I mean the oppressive economic state. Now all of a sudden everybody want to support black businesses and buy black. We shouldn't have to die brutally on TV by police for us to get that type of love, bro. Just for shit to be fair, we shouldn't have to get murdered in front of in front of everybody. We've been getting murdered like that too. It's just that now it's the internet and TV and cable and the news and the media, social media. Now you see it more. You heard? But in reality, this been going on since the beginning of time for us. You heard? So, like I said, that third degree, you better study it because those numbers dictate policy. You heard? So stay with me because we're going to get funky with it. You're LAZ man, suicide polo, ski man. You're.